<laughs> You're a good boy. So pick it up, put it in my hand, and then sit down after. No, no, you, did you not hear me? What did I say? That a boy. Good job. Good boy. Good catch. Good boy. You dropped it, but good try. That's my big boy right there. He did such a good job. He did such a good job. I know. In my hand, and then go. Go. So it's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon here in Niagara, and Pal and I are all playing some ball. But I wanted to give you guys what I believe to be the most important training tip I can give you for you and your dog. Um, in today's world, 95% of trainers use treats to train their dogs. And you even notice they wear these fanny pack type things that are full of treats. To me, that's just wrong. And, and let me tell you guys why I believe it's wrong. I'm not, I'm not going to just tell you how to or give you a tip on how to train your dog. I'm going to explain to you the reason why you should use this tip. Like I said, 95% of trainers today use treats to train their dogs, and you shouldn't. And here's why. So when your dog does something you want him to do, and you give them that treat, and they're happy about it, every time your dog does something good, it's looking for that treat. So if you notice, what happens is once they do something really well, and they know they're getting that treat, they become fixated on that treat. So my philosophy is, why wouldn't I want him fixated on me? So, so now when, whenever Pal or Buddy or Nike or Sam did something I wanted them to do, they looked for me to give that praise and over-exaggerated praise and love. They looked for it. And what that does is it builds a better bond between you and your dog. So... Using treats is a fast, easy way to train your dog. Uh, listen, it's so much faster. And maybe that's why trainers use treats. Because it is a lot quicker to get results when you use treats. But you will not get the bond you want with your dog. Or the bond like I have with Pal and before him, Buddy. I'm not putting down these trainers, by the way in any way, shape, or form, because obviously training with treat works. Your dog is gonna listen, but you're not gonna get that bond you want with your dog. You want your dog, after it completes a task, to not be looking for treats. You want your dog to be looking for you, for a nice pet and a good boy. Kinda like I'm gonna do right now. What a good boy he is, I know. He did so good. He did so good, that big boy. I know, I saw. If you pick it up, I'll throw it again. Go, go, go. So many people ask me. I mean, I mean, I get DMs and, and even on the comments. How do you get your dog to pay attention to you so well? How do you get your dog to listen so well? It's because my dog wants that praise and love every time he does something right. He's not looking for treats. He's looking for praise and love. And that builds that bond. What do you, what do, you do when you're out with your dog? Just out. You mean... Unless you're taking treats with your dog everywhere you go, everywhere, no matter where it is, you got to have treats on you at all times in order to solidify the bond with your dog. Because the first time you don't give him treats after he does something, he's going to go, huh? And then the second time he's going to go, huh, huh? You see what I'm trying to say? So you can't always give your dog treats, but you can always give your dog over-exaggerated praise and love. Nice try. Good try, good try. Anyway, guys, I hope you understand this training tip, and I hope you implement it because it'll change the way your relationship is with your dog. Good boy.